What's up beatboxers and non-beatboxers? Even if that shouldn't exist. I am Collapse and welcome to the second episode of I Asked Epic Beatboxers. For this episode I created a dubstep beat and I asked to some of the best beatboxers in the world to reproduce it. If something works, do it again but slightly different. I will also try to do the dubstep bit at the end of this video. Just keep watching if you don't want Davey 504 to call the police for me. I know. <coughs> People, careful. Let's listen to the dubstep bit first. <laughs> One more time. So this dubstep bit is quite complex because of the variety. But also because of some tricky drum breaks. Anyway, it doesn't matter because today we have some of the craziest beatboxers in the world. And crazy beatboxers never make mistakes. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you shouldn't have seen this experimental licked footage from Area 51. So ladies and gentlemen, if you will, look right here. So I was saying, crazy beatboxers never make mistakes. You can trust me. I originally also planned Audicle, Inertia and Rips 1, but due to some timing issues and other stuff, they couldn't make it in time. Rest in beatbox. Now that we clarified all that, let's start what you came for. It's... Draw time. Oh, The first one is Darny. Your collapse, what you got for me? Let's check it out. Okay, I think I gotta listen to this like a thousand times. I'm gonna think right now how to do this shit. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> So this attempt was crazy, he used throat bass, he used inward bass, for the last bass he used lip oscillations, which is a very good idea, I really like it. The drum breaks were pretty nicely done. I also like the kick he's using in some parts, and overall the little details were very very close to the song. Wow. <laughs> Next beatboxer. Big Ben. Big Ben Shadow Sumo. Okay. Ah, <laughs> oh, c'est ta voix, non? <laughs> it sounds like you beatboxing, but uh, it's not beatbox. The... It sounds like you. <laughs> <laughs> Shadow Sumo Yes, <laughs> <Réussi>. <laughs> 
beaucoup trop facile. So easy. Alright, so the ending was super funny. Overall, I really really like this one. He has one of the best throat bass ever. For the second part, he chose to do high pitch chest bass, which is a cool idea. And for the last bass part, he did inward bass. I think he simplified a little bit the drum breaks, but it was still super super cool. This one is... yeah. Next, beatboxer, oh la 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 la, Uwech, from South Korea. So that was a super interesting one. He used outward double voice and inward double voice also. So both ways, that's crazy. For the second part he used some tongue roll and click roll I think. And for the last kind of bass he used this sound. Yeah, overall it was a super cool one. I really like this one. Next beatboxer. Ooh. Kim, Shadow Sumo 2, like Big Bang. I'm really really excited because I will listening for the first time the dubstep track of Collapse. I'm waiting since two days already, so <laughs> let's go. <laughs> nice. Okay. <laughs> yes. I will practice this and I will try my best. Shadow Sumo. So that was a super cool one too. He used throat bass. He has one of the best throat bass in the world. He used his special sound, laser kiss. The drum breaks were very nicely done. Yeah. Shadow <laughs> Next beatboxer. Beatfox from the UK. Yo, so I just got sent this um audio sample by Collapse Beatbox, a little dubstep thing, so let's see what it sounds like. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty mad, man. The bass is heavy on that, and I like the air, uh, where it filters out and comes back in real hard. Six, six, six sound. Oh. So that was a cool one, he used throat bass, he 
he used click rolls for the second part of the dubstep song. Nice. For the high pitch sounds, he used this. I don't know what it is exactly, but it sounds super cool, so wise choice, I really like this one. And the drum breaks were also very cool. So overall, yeah, it's a very nice one. Big up to you, man. Next beatboxer. Slizer. Hey guys, let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> Probably represent me. One more time. Mm. All right, so that was an interesting one. He used his bass, which is the high pitch chest bass. In the second part, he used a variation with his hand. And the drum breaks were also interesting. He used his horn technique. I don't know how exactly he's doing it, but I know that it sounds sick. Thank you, bro. Big up. Next one. Marcus from Spain. Ash, yo, Collapse. Thanks for the invitation, man. Uh, I love this concept. And um, yeah, let's check the audio. All right, first listen. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. Um, it has a bunch of details that will be interesting to work on. Let's see how it goes. Wow, crazy one. So he used throat bass and inward bass. It's crazy with both. Sounds so good. The drum breaks were nicely done. Yeah, overall, it's one of the best, I think. So yeah, thank you, bro. All right, it's time for the last beatboxer of this episode, which is... Beyond. So I got the audio file from Collapse. Uh, let's listen to it. Okay, okay. Let's try this. Dope, so he used throat bass, tongue rolls and click rolls in the second drop. And for the little high pitch things he used, he did the drum breaks pretty good. Sick, sick one. Alright guys, so I hope you kept watching until the end, otherwise that means I'm gonna call Davey 504 so he can call the police for me. So I guess now it's my turn, let's do this. Wow. <laughs> 
One more time. So easy for me. That's it for this video. I hope you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe and click the like button. Also, let me know in the comment section what should I ask to some epic beatboxers in the next episode. Thank you. This was very intermediate.